Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. You know, last time uh, Kim was up here, she was up here with uh, Tisha Campbell yep. and Yvette Nicole Brown, right. and they were promoting uh, uh, At Your Age. At Your Age, that's yep. right. Yep, yep, yep. Back and, on um, June 3rd. Uh huh. No, Go ahead. And, and Kim started telling the story. Yeah, I remember. And Yvette Nicole Brown stopped it. Can we flash back to that? She sure did. Wait a minute. But one thing, Joe, we were so close. He said, uh, he said, when we get 50, he said, this is what we said. If we're both not married, we're going to get married. Mm. Then there was, I'm telling a lot on well, this you show. Sure you can stop yourself at any time. Oh. No, <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> Nobody making you do this. And, and, and they got to go. You so you got to tell this last story. story. Like y'all got to go. Y'all got go. got TV. So y'all got to tell this last story. Yeah, you ain't got to tell it. Okay, put it in your book. No, no, no. We got time to put it in your book. No, no, put it in your book. Put it in your book. Put it in your book. There, there, there was one BET no, no, you, award. You did it. No, no, no. You did it. Now you told me. We listen again. No, no, no. no. Kim. Okay. Kim, let it go. Kim, right here. Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim, Kim. It's like the hey, devil hey, hey, in the air. Kim, Kim, right here, Kim. So nobody's here to stop now. Yeah, nobody oh here to stop God. Kim. Feel oh, free. Feel sneaky. free to finish the story. Y'all are sneaky. One time at the BET Awards. That's the last thing I heard. Oh, my God. I can't believe y'all bringing this up. Look. Okay, y'all, this is what happened. No, because I can say it now. Gerald's been gone for a while. And, uh, yeah, he, he probably has, uh, of course, women out there that uh, he probably was dating at the same time or around. Uh, Gerald and I didn't date. Like, we were just on and off. And we were very good friends. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it out there. We were very good friends. And I remember a conversation that we had. And he said, if we not married, either one of us are married, by 50, we're going to get married. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he said, this was... This was another time. He said, look, I, I can't, I'm not going to tell you which BET award it was. He said, I'd like to, for me and you to go out together to present an award, and I'd like to announce our engagement. Wow. I was like, huh? I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And I, I was like, okay, that's how we're, we're that kind of friends. He didn't say like, hey, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. I was like, that sounds good. He mm -hmm. said, wouldn't that be great? And I said, yeah. And uh, something happened uh, with the award show and uh, us presenting. So not only did we not announce it, you know. You know, you never got a chance to propose. No, never got a chance to propose. Damn. And and things happen. And then, you know. So, that's a player. That's a player ass uh, that was move. proposal. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I would like to walk out here. And when I walk out here, I'm announce our engagement. That's cool with you. Yeah. Because I thought. <laughs> No, I know that was kind of. I look back on it. I was like, "That's kind of play." You feel for that, huh? That's what you feel for. That's I probably did something nasty that night too. When I think about it, whoa, it was okay. Whoa, Drop whoa. my tooth bumps with Kim Willie and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> It's the freaking video I like, back. I, listen, I like old GT. I like the hair. Oh God, that I, was I'm a sure good you'll memory. detail it in the book. I will. That's, That's right. right. All, all my stories and, uh, but that was my dude. No matter what, he was a very good friend, and I'm st I'm friends with his family. Uh, me and Eddie are talking about going out together. Uh, so you know, we're still all cool. Absolutely, sisters okay. and brothers. Now we got to talk to about Young Miami. Young Miami was doing an interview on the Jason Lee Show, and she talks about being bisexual and who she lusts after. Megan Thee Stallion. I'm a smash all day and tomorrow. Oh, I'm a pass because I'm I'm gay. But she's hot. Megan just give me, like, she really can, like, take me up and through them. So have you been with a woman before? Mm-hmm. Sexually? Jason and I have been with a woman before. And you enjoyed it? I love it. Are you bisexual? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I always say that. Yeah, but, like, you say a lot. You just said earlier, you say a lot of things you don't mean it. You mean you say... No, you... I really do like girls. I won't be in a relationship with a girl because okay. it's like, I'm not bitch girl. Like... <laughs> 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 But Megan could get it for a night. For a lifetime. Kim, why you look so perplexed? Uh, isn't she the same one that says she likes to be... Golden a, showers. Golden showers. Yes. And she likes that, too. She's telling a lot. Mm -hmm. Do we need to know all of this? And then, and then she wondered why Puffy was stuttering. This is, <laughs> this is why. You can't give up all of that. And he's like, ah, yeah, we... Uh, we so she's uh, a trisexual. She's willing to try anything. Clearly. Wow. Yeah. I wonder what's the percentage of women that are like bisexual, and also what's the difference between bisexual and women who have like been with a woman once? Cause I hear women say that, like you know, I've been with a woman once. That's called experimenting in college. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's what they, they call it. I, I, I don't. But see, men can't do that. Men does that. He's just gay. <laughs> he was just gay in college. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know what he was, I mean? He was, he was gay. <laughs> That gay. is true. It is a double standard. You're yeah. absolutely right. If, if you tried it, would you tell anyone though? Would a man actually be like, "Yeah"? Nope. I don't think so. 
Yeah, I don't think they would say, I, mm. I tried that in college. Nowadays, yes, somebody would say that. that they need content for their podcasts. <laughs> they need content <laughs> for their YouTube lives, Instagram lives. Yes, somebody would say that now. Yeah, I'm sure I, somebody has. No, I mean, but even with Young Miami, I love that she's open, but in 10 years, she's going to look back. These interviews last forever. Ever. Yeah. And if I was, you know, a friend of her, I'd tell her, I'd be like, hey, be careful. Don't forget, this is going to be... Forever. Nah, in 10 years, she ain't going to look back and think nothing. She's from Florida. Dropping the clues bombs for women from Florida. Oh. Women from Florida don't regret nothing. Ask any of the old grandmas that was in the Uncle Luke videos, okay? They have the best time of their life. Boy. All right? You'll see when the Freak Nick Doc come out. They don't regret nothing. No, Are please. you crazy? These lawyers and, and the judges that now talk about, oh, we got to stop this. Because I know I was bucket naked on somebody's table. Mm-mm. Yeah, you got to think back on Freak Nick. Yeah, it was pretty. It was a lot. It was a lot going on. I know women now that'll be like, that was me in the Uncle Luke video. I was in the Uncle Luke video. They'll uh, say who? that? I've heard a few women say that. So Jesus you. Christ. You know why they say that? Because their body don't look like it did. No, I'm going to say it too. Look at me in the Uncle Luke video. Like, oh, that look wasn't at that you. waistline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus. And lastly, we got to talk. Uh, Young Miami talks about all this drama in women's rap. In the rap game right now, when it comes to females, there's so much drama. Why is it? Why, where, where does all the drama come from? I, I, I was just in the shower and I was saying, I was like, why is everybody beef? I don't know. It will be so much funner, funner if everybody could just be together. We could mm. bring each other out on shows and just click up. Mm. Like, bad bitches rule the world. Like, I feel like bad bitches sh- should really link up. Like, I feel like it should be a link up. That would be dope if everybody could just get together, bring their personalities together, the different, you know, just, I think it would be dope. Do you? Do you think that whenever, because you are in a group, do you ever feel accountable for things that maybe JT is involved with or that you do and that she gets held accountable? I feel like I really don't care because I'm going to step behind her 10 toes down. So it's like if she said something and I got to stand on it, I'm going to stand on it because mm-hmm. that's, that's my bitch. Yeah. Like, I don't, we a group. Let's not act like the women uh, in rap are doing something that hasn't been done before. Like beef is a part what of mean? beef is a part of rap music. Period. Like we'd love to see more oh, unity too, in yeah. rap, but it's always beef. It's always competitiveness in hip hop. Yeah. So you know, just because they're women, don't mean that you know the, the same rules aren't going to apply to them. Like they are women who rap. There's going to be competition. Mm-hmm. There's going to be beef. There's going to be smoke. It happens. Mm-hmm. And, and, and absolutely, because it's good for the music. I you think know, so. If, always, if it actually translates to music, that's the problem. Right. It'd be on Twitter with tweets. The guys, too. If, f- f- forget all that tweet and start to rap. Get on, go in the studio yeah. and rap. Go mm-hmm. like yeah, like they used to do. Go back and forth. Go in the studio that's right. and put it out there. But I, I challenge Young Miami to start it. You got to start something. You want to be a part of it. She mm-hmm. needs to start embracing other female rappers and bringing them on stage. Yeah, she has been recently. I know she did a. a, a, a she's been doing a lot of records with uh, newer artists that are coming up. So I, I've seen her doing that. But that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got the People's Choice Mix It Up Movies, The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.